Howdy folks, today I think we're going to do a, a guitar or a bass guitar. Let's do a bass guitar. I'm going to start off with getting an image, reference image. I'm going to go to the top view so when it loads up it'll be completely flat. Let's go to add image reference. Let's see, go into my textures, guitar textures, and I've got quite a bit. Let's see, we'll pick this one here, load it up, I'm going to move it up a bit, and of course we'll have to change the opacity so we can see through it a little. Go to the opacity, and I'll just move it down a little bit. Okay, move it down a bit more. First of all, we will work on the body here. That'll be one part of the guitar. What I want to do is just add a plane, mesh plane. Then I'm going to select the verti vertices only in edit mode, vertices. Then I'm going to hit the M key and merge them to the center. Uh, and we should be able to just grab this and move it around. There it is. We'll start it right here. And we're just going to extrude this thing all the way around the body here. By hitting the E key and just moving our mouse to where we want it to go. And the thing about doing it this way is when you come around these, these curves, you kind of got to keep them a little bit closer together so they'll be smoother when you actually have to solidify the body. Let's see. Coming around the corner here. Basically this is, you're just kind of outlining the body area here. going to get it close because we can always go fix it in a little bit. See this is where the neck will join. We're not too worried about that yet. And once we get done with this we'll just extrude the face and it'll make it look more solid. That may be a problem there. This is just a quick, you now if I was, to, s to save time I'm doing this kind of quick, otherwise I'd be making a lot more of these little extruded vertices here. But I'm just kind of keeping them like this. Right, when we get close to the end, I'm just going to select it all by hitting the A key and filling it. There we go. Okay, let's go into the object mode and I'm going to go ahead and apply the uh, scale, which I probably didn't need to do. I'll wait till I get it extruded out. Going into the edit mode, select the face, and then we're going to extrude it up to about that thickness. That looks thick enough. Now I'll go ahead and apply the uh, scale. As you can see these look a little jaggedy around the side so I'm just going to go to shade smooth and then we'll go to this little thing here and auto smooth it to really keep some of the edges, some of the faces flat. Okay, now we will try to try a bevel modifier because we want to get these edges a little smoother too. Go to our modifier, bevel. Okay, let's 
do segments. Uh, can we get it any deeper? No, not much deeper. That looks pretty good. There's a little bit of jagged, jaggedy edge there, but I'm not going to worry about that too much. Basically, we've got the body done. So, stay tuned for the next part, and we'll do the neck, then we'll do the hardware, and another part. And thank you for watching this tutorial.